Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of time intervals. This is standard 3.7c in the great state of Texas and we are using number 3 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So this is a strange problem because we're trying to add time. See how much time has, has elapsed between two times. So Thomas put a ham in the oven at 4.45. Then he's going to do a few things. 15 minutes later, he's going to put in a cake. And then the ham and the cake were in there for 60 minutes. And then Thomas took them both out of the oven. So what time did Thomas take both the ham and the cake out of the oven? So we're adding time, but let me show you why we can't just add normally. See, this is where a lot of us kind of get messed up. Is we'll take 4.45 and we'll say, well, let's add 15 minutes. And sometimes adding time works. But anytime you go to the hour or past the hour, it doesn't work. So let me show you what this looks like. So 5 and 5 is 10. So 4 and 1 is 5. Add another 1 is 6. And so after 15 minutes, he put the cake in the oven. So at 460, and you're wondering, well, what in the world is 460? That's not a time that we normally use. You cannot add time like you add regular numbers because they're based on different sets of numbers. So our number system is what we call base 10. So every single time that you hit 10 of one number, you go to the next place value. Well we don't necessarily go by tens when we're dealing with our um, hours and our minutes. Typically we'll go by 60, 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes an hour, and then we'll even go by 24, we'll say 24 hours in a day, and then we'll say 365 days a year. You see how it all, it's all different. So that's why we have to add using a tool. So this is going to be our tool that we're going to use right here, just a basic timeline. So let's mark this. Thomas put a ham in the oven at 4.45. So I'm just going to write ham right here. This is where he put the ham in the oven. Put a little X. And then after 15 minutes, he put the cake in the oven. So I need to add 15 minutes, but we already know what happens when I add 15 minutes, right? So we can try to use an analog clock. Sometimes that will help. So let's make our analog clock. I like to do it like this. 12 and 6, 3 and 9. That gets me my four corners. and lets me put the rest of them kind of there in close to the correct position. It's You're never going to be able to draw a perfect analog clock, but this will get you close. So 445. So that means that my hour hand is going to be kind of between your 4 and your 5. And then your minute hand is going to be all the way over here on the 9. So I know that's the 45. So if I take 15 minutes, let's go 15 minutes. So 5, 10, 15. So I'm going to go up here to 12. But we know that's the O clock, and that's the problem. That's the tricky part with this 460 over here, is once we hit the O clock, it now becomes 5. So 45 plus 15 is going to make 5 o'clock because it's almost 5 at 445. So we're going to go right here and we're going to say 15 minutes. And this is where the cake comes in. So now we have the ham and the cake. And when we have the ham and the cake, it's another 60 minutes. Now if we want to, we can use this clock again and we can say, well, let's see, it's, it's more of 5 o'clock. You see my clock is kind of getting messy. And if we want, we can just go for 60 minutes. So we can count by 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So I'm back at the o'clock. So instead of 5, it's going to be 6. Or we could just know that 60 minutes, that's going to equal 1 hour. So that's easy. We can just change the hour. So from 5 o'clock, Let's go up to 6 o'clock, and boom, and here's our answer, D.